Hello. I'm recording a series of short videos to explore what happens in church, especially for those who have never been to church before. I'm the vicar at St Paul's Church, New Southgate, and I'd like to say what happens when you walk in to a, to a church like ours. When you step over the threshold, there'll be somebody who will greet you and they'll give you an order of service. This order of service is really useful. It tells you in bold some words that you're invited to say, if you wish, and some suggestions for when to stand and when to sit. Because sometimes that can be a bit, um, a bit unnerving, really, when you walk into something where you're not quite sure, perhaps, what, what everyone's going to be doing around you. So find a seat. Um, we have a, a relatively small to medium-sized congregation, so there's plenty of seats. You can sit with others or you can sit on your own and, um, and then just enjoy the service. See how you find it. See what connects to you. See what speaks to you through the service. On Sunday mornings, the services have uh, Holy Communion. It's known as many different things. The Eucharist, which is a Greek word meaning Thanksgiving. Um, communion, Holy Communion, the Mass. Uh, there's lots of different words for the Lord's Supper. Ultimately, it's something that Jesus gave to his disciples to do, to share bread and wine, which becomes the body and blood of Christ amongst his friends. If you have received communion in the past and you'd like to receive communion, then you're always welcome to do so at St Paul's New Southgate. If though you've not yet started receiving communion, then I'd recommend coming forward for a blessing. And you can indicate that by putting your hands across your chest or holding your order of service with you and bowing your head. And, uh, and then if you would like to explore communion, what it means and the, uh, the, the, the symbolism and the ritual and this presence of Christ, then I'd really recommend joining for one of our Alpha courses or confirmation course. Um, and I also run kind of other things we do, like Bible basics and things like that, which, is, which can be quite interesting to join in and to explore and go deeper in, in, a, in a conversation about what, what, it, what it is to worship God in the Christian church. So that's something about what happens in a service. Um, I, was, I was asking some people uh, about what they would like in these videos and please do post in the comments below if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer. Uh, but somebody uh, came to me and said, well, what about being late? Like, is it a problem to be late? Because our service is in the morning at 10.30 and in the afternoon on Sunday at 4.30. Um, but it's not a problem to be late. I've got a small child myself and I know what it's like when you're trying to get out the door. I think it's, it's so much better to be present to God and the community in person if you can. Um, so I really wouldn't worry if, uh, if you can't make it there for 10.30. Come anyway. So I thought that was a really good question. Um, am I allowed to come? Is it members only? As I said in my first video, you are always welcome. Everyone is welcome in church. Uh, we've got a statement, it's called a creed, and we, we often say it um, in our liturgy, in the order of service. And it says in there that the church is Catholic. And the word Catholic, we often think of Roman Catholics, <laughs> But the word Catholic originally, and in this context, what it means is universal. The church is there for everyone, with no exceptions. It's universal. So come and join us. You're always very welcome. Um, and, uh, and I'm going to leave it there. Oh, what to wear? That's another good question. In the past, people would be very smartly dressed when they come to church. These days, you still get some who are very smartly dressed, but on the whole, people are more relaxed. So casual is good, jeans, t-shirt, whatever you feel comfortable in to meet with God and to share fellowship uh, and meet other people. I hope this is a helpful video and uh, tune in for another instalment soon. God bless.